Hi everyone, welcome back to Carp Catch TV and this time we're at RH Fisheries Monument One. Hi guys and welcome back and this time we're at Monument One. We've been here before but we wasn't too lucky last time and we got a blank. We've uh, done a video on Monument Two where Blunder was quite lucky, got two decent fish. We fished that in April it was so you know it's just as good weather started. Now we're in middle of September now well towards the back end of September so uh, the weather's totally different now. It's overcast, low pressure, it's been raining this morning, a little bit of wind on the water so the conditions are quite good for carp fishing to be fair. This time it's just me and Blunder that's come down, Callum couldn't make it, but we are booked onto the Monument 2 in two weeks time and all three of us will be there, so that'll be good. Uh, hopefully I'll be catching one from the Monument 2 because I also blanked there as well, which uh, had a bit of a run of blanking at the start of the, the year, but I have made amends since then. Uh, last week I went to Old Mill Fisheries on the, the Oak Lake and uh, I managed eight bites there in 48 hours, so that was a decent uh, trip. There's some really, really good fish behind me in this lake and we're hoping to get one of the good ones, one of the old ones. Uh, you've got Richie in here. You've got some really, really old school dark ones that don't come out very often. And to be fair, I'm just, I'm just fishing for one bite. You know, I've got a couple of PVA bags on and I'm not gonna heavy bait this time. Blunder's gone for the, uh, the heavy baiting approach and I'm just gonna go and fish like minimal bait and just see what, it, see what happens. You know, there's four rods between us. Hopefully one of them will go. Right, we've just seen our first bit of action and Blunder's rod was first to go. Yeah, hold on. Unfortunately though, he wasn't playing it long and it's come off. So he's not very happy at the moment. It's just one of the things, sometimes you don't quite get the hook right set to you in the mouth. But it's still good signs. I'm sure the guy over the other side just caught one. I saw him playing it earlier, but then I was still setting up when I looked over again. You know, whether he landed it or not, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, there's the signs that the fish are having a bit of bait today, so uh, fingers crossed that uh, it could be a good session.
Right then, and we've come to the end of the first day, and blink and you'll miss it, to be honest. Uh, it's gone really quick, really quick. Uh, apart from Blunder losing the fish earlier, uh, not a lot's happened at the moment. Uh, we had that food from a, it was called the Aroma Restaurant or Brighton. Uh, decent, to be fair, I got that on Uber Eats, and a uh, really decent curry, that, so spot on. Nice guy as well, maybe at the gate, quite friendly. Just about to watch the match now, the Brighton Palace game. So we're going to watch that and then uh, get our heads down for the night. And then we're going to be up really early in the morning. Hopefully it's prime bite time in the morning. And uh, try and get one of these decent fish out. Well guys, welcome to the next morning. Unfortunately, we didn't have anything in the night. Uh, had a couple of liners, but nothing major. Uh, to be fair, I've not put any bait out yet in this session, so it's about eight o'clock now. I'm gonna give it till 10 o'clock. I'm gonna change my approach. I've had a couple of tips. Uh, I put a bit of a post up last night on chasing chunks and got chatting to a lad who fishes his peg quite a lot. And he says like uh, 16 wraps out, put a bed of bait there as a nice spot. To be fair, uh, in the office, they did say 16 wraps out earlier, but I've gone with a PVA bag approach to just trying to nick a bite. I've got some crushed up uh, Simply Red boilies in the, in a bag, and uh, but so far it's not worked. But come 10 o'clock, I'm gonna change my approach. I'm gonna put a bit of bait out there, I'm gonna spawn my load, and then I'm gonna change the rigs to uh, more of a stiff rig, and put a couple of wafters on, maybe a Simply Red, and see what happens then. Right, so it's coming up to dinner time now, it's nearly 12 o'clock and uh, the rain started to get a bit heavier now so we've come into the bivvies but I'd probably uh, get something to eat, we've not had anything today yet. I've looked at the weather and it doesn't look like it's going to stop till we leave at 6 o'clock so it's going to be an absolute wet one packing up but uh, you know, you never know, we might get lucky. Well, there you go. We stuck it out in the rain. We never nice gave book. up. There's a nice PB for me, nice 33 pound mirror car. Check that out. Woohoo! Get in. Don't want to take a picture. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Right. 
Right, and so I've just had a fish, my new PB, £33. I'm absolutely buzzing for that one. Uh, they seem to be doing really well over the other sides of the lake today. They've just caught another fish between them. There must be about six or seven fish we caught over that side of the bank now. The weather conditions for carp fishing are banging. Uh, there's been a break now in the rain because it's made filming an absolute nightmare. So we're going to take advantage of that and get a couple more freebies on the spots and start packing some of our stuff away so we've not got too much to do later. Grand Blunder, new PB, £31. Get in there. Yeah, boy. How do you feel about your new PB? Absolutely buzzing, mate. Can you believe I called that 20 minutes ago? <sighs> can't believe it. <laughs> it's mad, though. can't believe it. Go on then, mate. Stick him back. Get in, mate. Get in. So with all that rain we've had today, the lake has been nice and calm now. It's looking really nice. We've uh, got just over an hour left. We've packed up half our gear just to, uh, just while the rain stopped. And uh, we're just praying it doesn't rain again because the bivvies are just sort of half drying off. They're not going to fully dry. We're going to have to get them back out when we get home, but at least they're not going to go back soaking wet. All right. I know every fisherman says this, but is there time for one more? Right, and guys, that's the end of the session. And uh, it's been such a good session, to be fair. Like, the weather's been perfect for us. We managed to get a PB each, which is great. And uh, it's such a lovely place to come, like the, the place is stunning. If anyone tells you it's a hole in the ground, it's just not. Look behind us, it's such a stunner. We've been here before, we've blanked, and it, I think it's a, pa it's a place that you have to put a little bit of patience into. But if you do put it in, then you know, the rewards are there. And you know, we're gonna come back, hopefully get something bigger next time. And uh, what do you think? Happy with it, mate, happy. Um, I lost a bit of faith going into the last four or five hours, but the fish were out there, they were showing themselves just weren't on the munch but eventually like I say persistent sat in a bivvy for three hours in the pissing down rain I lost a bit of faith the water was annoying me I was getting wet and I but all of a sudden it's worth it when you catch eh definitely definitely and when you lost that fit it sort of like demoralised me it's yesterday it's my own fault don't want to tell you why but my own fault <laughs> stupidity but yeah. uh we go again and then M2 in two weeks hopefully uh yeah we're back on M2 in two weeks time doing a part two in there because we've already done part one so check that out. Right, we need to get packed up now, so catch you in the next video. Ciao, bella.